Hey guys, RC back with uh, episode two of our Draft Day Sports College Football Let's Play, and we are doing a gameplay with uh, try with Oklahoma trying to run the wishbone or the option attack. So first game we uh, learned it did not go that well. Uh, let's see. Some of those are from week one. All right. So let's go up to roster, depth chart, set all, game plan. Ooh, looks like we had a couple of injuries there. Uh, probable due to allergies and probable with a bruised hip. Well, suck it up, buttercup as uh, we like to say. All right, now you can see when you auto set, it does change. One thing I would really like to see is the ability to lock some of these categories or choose a scheme. So if you want to run a spread attack, then that way when these are input by the game, by the AI, it generates towards a spread attack. If I want to run a wishbone attack, then these should, you know, trigger over to the wishbone, uh, the wishbone type attack. So I'm going to change all of these to options, except for. Passing downs. All right, let's try that. And then we also want to make sure, so 32 is, is well, I tell you what, let's do, let's drop that down to 12. That's fine. That's fine. I want to bring that down to about 22. I want to make that an 8. I want to run heavy on that. Fourth and short, about 28. Goal line, we should be running that probably just about every time. So zero, we should be running the option and all and running all the time. And if we're behind, I'm going to drop that down, but not a lot. Let's go to 92. All right, and let's save that. All right, so I, what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to use the game's option playbook and see if we see any change in what transpires from a result standpoint as far as who carries the ball uh, and things of that nature. Um, I, I do want to go back to my depth chart. And I do want to go down to the wishbone. And I do want to change this again. So again, I'd like to see the ability to lock some of these things in. To where, you know, those aren't going to change every single week. I mean, it, it makes that very difficult. Uh, to run anything with continuity. All right, now we're going to get back into recruiting. Now, this the way this screen is set up, you have your players that you've already targeted, and these are the this is the pool of high school seniors that you can recruit. And that's what you get by default. Oh, you know what? And I did not turn off auto recruit. That probably needs to be switched to where it defaults to not auto recruit. But Let's see how bad that hurt me. All right, I want to go to targets. I want to go to recruiting. All right, strong safety, quarterback. All 
right, and there's a couple of. It, it looks like it did change it drastically. Um, yeah, I mean, look, all my points are, are changed. Oh, that's disappointing. Ah. Uh, well, that's okay. We'll we'll roll with it. It it is what it is. Um, I've changed it now, so I get to control. All right. See, the problem is, if I look at this guy, Alabama, Mississippi, Auburn, and A&M, they've probably got 10 points on him, meaning I've got basically no shot to land that player, and everything I've done this week has been mostly for nothing. All right, what I want to do here... Okay, this guy's not very interested at all. He's up in uh, Wisconsin. So I'm going to back off of that guy. So what I'm going to do is revoke his scholarship, pull out his points, and I'm going to mark him as hidden. That way, next time I look at this screen, or if I come back right now, he won't be there. Okay, he's gone. And you can look at the interest levels here. So this guy's a 47. We're not even in 50%, so we're going to go ahead and back off of him immediately. Revoke his scholarship and hide him. Seventy-three, Oklahoma, Georgia, Notre Dame. All right, let's back off of him. Ninety-six, forty-four. We're not even in his top fifty, uh, top fifty percent, so we're gonna pull that. Thirty-four. We're gonna pull him. And you notice I'm hiding all the ones that I'm pulling, and that's so I don't see them anymore going forward. Uh, once I ever, you know, once I leave and come back to this screen. All right, seventy-seven percent. Now he's on our board. All right, so we're going to keep him. Now, this guy's out of Oklahoma. All right, he's at 69. If I up him to 10 right now, that puts him at 79. Honestly, probably still pretty far behind, so we're going to go ahead and pull off of that guy. All right, 90, 79. I probably should pull off of him, but I'm going to give him another week just to check him out. All right. 82. Is that the... Okay, yep, that's the guy I just looked at was Costa. All right, he's at 81. 96, 79, 90, 70. All right, I'm going to pull off of that guy. Uh, what did I just do? All right, yeah, don't do that. You got to be careful when you if you when you're using your scroll button because it will catch one of these and and move it. <laughs> All right, so was it it was this guy here, right? He's out of Texas. Texas School for the Deaf. Huh. All right. So Robert Howell, I'm going to pull him and revoke and hide 48 I'm not even gonna look we're just gonna pull on him all right we're gonna stay on him 85 96 70 and 62 I'm gonna go ahead and pull on him 
Now it's only one team. I might I could stay on him, but I think 62 is low enough that it would hurt me. Let's see what All right, that gets me up to 78 at least. So, I'm going to stay on him. All right. So, let me clear that back out. All right. So, now we have the guys that I have not backed out on. And I've built up 87 recruiting points. Well, the first thing I want to do is I would never start with less than 10 on anybody that you legitimately want to recruit here. So let's up everybody to 10 and then we'll see what that does. So I'm going to stay on these guys for at least another week. All right, so that leaves me 63 points, and I have 70 scouting points. So for now I want to come in and schedule interviews. And the, and the AI does not do very good with this. Oh, they did interview a couple of guys. All right, so we're good there. In fact, let me go look at those guys closely before I continue. All right, what the interview does again is it opens up this right side. So now this tells you what the player is interested in personally. So he's a strong safety. He's out of Mississippi. I've got Oklahoma, Mississippi, Alabama, Auburn, Texas A&M all looking at this kid. And these ones in blue are his interest levels. Now, just because, in this case, close to home is the lowest number, does not mean that that will not play a factor into his decision. Basically, my understanding of these is market size is the size of your conference. So the Big Ten would be better than the MAC, okay? The Big 12 would be better than the West, you know, the Western Athletic, the WAC, uh, or the MAC, or you know, the Conference USA. Um, that's what that is. Security and loyalty tie in to how hard you're recruiting him. That's the 10 points every week, uh, you know, and 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 whatnot. Um, at least again, my interpretation. Values winning. This includes winning in the current season, but it's also a historical look back over the last several years. So let's say that you're a program that has been uh, four and four and eight, uh, five and seven, eight and eight and six, uh, or eight and four, nine and three, and this year you're 12 and0. Okay, or you know, you're undefeated, uh, eight and zero. Well, you might say, well, man, if he values winning, I'm undefeated. Well, he's also looking back, and just three years ago, you were a sub 500 program, with a history of being sub 500. So you're not actually a winning program in the eyes of the player. The fact that you have won recently, and the fact that you're undefeated this year will factor in, but it. And it's going to vary from player to player. So you have to try to figure out, is it worth staying on that player or not? Values playing time. If, you, you know, if, if this is a strong safety and I've got, you know, 12 strong safeties on my roster, even if they're not really good and he'll be the best one uh, coming in, all he's looking at is they've got 12, 12 guys at my position and he's probably not going to want to go there playing close to home this is actually linear so just because he's in Mississippi I have to figure out okay where is Terry Mississippi I don't know but I know where Mississippi's at well Ole Miss is going to be the closest Alabama is going to and Auburn are going to be the other direction one state but he has to come through Louisiana, partially through Texas, and up to Oklahoma to get to me. So the two Alabama schools 
probably closer than I am. The only one I'm uh, that I might be closer than is Texas A&M, and even that's going to be a stretch. So if that's his primary, then that would be a good indicator that I'm probably not going to get this kid because that's going to factor into his decision. Now, again, it is the lowest. It will factor in somewhat. Can I make up enough points in the player's head with these other categories to offset that? The answer is yes, sometimes. Um, you don't even have to have a high interest. Uh, there's a dynasty game that I'm currently playing with uh, a Sunbelt team, my alma mater, and I signed a guy that was like a 12% 12, 12 interest level, but nobody else had recruited him. So, you know, he basically signed with me due to lack of options. Um, but in this case, we've got a high interest. He's expressing an interest. Now I need to evaluate that. So, um, that's what that's what you want to that's why you want to do these these interviews to open up that information so like this guy market size well big 12 SEC big 12 SEC keeping in mind even though we're in 76 the setup is 2017 so A&M is in the SEC with LSU so I would say that's even security loyalty you know, I've hurt myself with only eight points the first week. He doesn't care about playing close to home very much. Oh, and prestige. That's your team prestige. So my prestige is an 86. LSU, let's say, is a 90 or a 92. Uh, you know, so who's got the best prestige? That's what that is. Um, so this guy's very interested. We compete well here. I can make this up hopefully that two points isn't going to be a, a huge deal, but we'll see. All right, now this guy's only got Louisiana State. He's out of Texas. Close to home is not a big concern. Now, I, he's a quarterback, so I really want to scout him. All right, so I'm going to put... Usually I would go ahead and take my scouting points and do more interviews but I really want to get I want to get these three quarterbacks scouted at least a little bit and again once I do that then it opens up this side and I can start evaluating their actual abilities and that's gonna make a big difference with my quarterbacks okay so now I'm kinda of back where I was last video except I've turned off auto recruit so make a note if you're if you're playing and you want to do your own recruiting you gotta turn that off alright so I have nine scholarships left I've got 63 recruiting points so let's come in and go back to both let's look at the ones we're not recruiting now these are guys that have not They're on our list for some reason, but all right, so scouting report, nobody's after him. So let me go ahead and I'm going to pop him. He's got a lot of teams on him, so I'm going to pull. There's nothing to cancel, but I'm going to go ahead and hide him. Oklahoma State. Now what I can do is I can put my 10 points and see what that does. So I actually jump up pretty high. So I'm going to do that and offer him. Nobody's after him yet. So he jumps. And just because you put 10 points on somebody, you need to check because they may not be interested at all. All right, he's got a lot of guys on him, so I'm not going to waste my time there. So we're going to just cancel him. All right, nobody's after him. We'll put 10 points there. 
see right here he's he's still only a 67 he's out of Tennessee with two Tennessee teams so I'm gonna back out on him and hide him all right we're gonna go back and hit not recruiting again to zero these guys out I still have some though okay interesting they weren't there a second ago all right um, Tell you what, some of these smaller quarterbacks, I'm going to go ahead and just put a few points on. Unless they've got, okay, like him, I'm going to cancel him. Virginia Tech. He's a four star. Just in case he's close to home, I'm going to go ahead and pop him. and Oklahoma State. Now he's a gunslinger, okay? So picture a Brett Favre. He's probably not going to be a runner. I'm not going to go after him because that doesn't fit what I want to do. And that's a case where somebody else might, a lower ranked person might actually be a better fit for your, you know, for your program because of the offense you want to run. All right, now I've used all my points. I still have some guys on this list, and I can look at them later on, which is fine. Now this week I don't have a game. We're open, so I can go ahead and sim this week. And tell you what, I've only got about five minutes left in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut. And we'll come back and uh, pick up at this point, uh, starting our week three evaluation. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.